Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So today I feel like making a chili cheese quesadilla. And it's going to be really simple. All you're going to need is a few different ingredients. Some beef, some cheese, and a whole bunch of chilies. I got serrano chilies right here. I got some jalapenos. I also have some chili de arbol and some guajillo chilies. And obviously there's a lot more stuff that goes along with this, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Kind of follow along the video if you want to find out. And also I'll leave all the ingredients down below, so if you want to check that out, please check that out. But anyway guys, let's not waste no time on this, so I'm going to jump right into the video, start cooking things up, get some prep going. So check it out guys, here we go. So I got all those onions. Oh my god, you fuck. Alright. Two and a half pound chuck roast. All I'm gonna do is dice this up into small cubes. And I'm gonna sear it off in the pan or the pot before I throw all the veggies in there. Probably gonna do a couple batches because if you just throw all the meat in at one time, it's just gonna boil and the meat's gonna turn gray and there's really no point of even searing it off in the first place. A couple batches, maybe three batches. Sear off the meat, get it brown, develop some flavor on there, and then that'll be it. So all I'm doing is putting some hot water on the stove. Like I said before, I got the chili darbo, which are the spicy chilies and the wahio chilies. And you also could kind of put these in a pan and char them off ahead of time, get a little bit of color on there. But you know, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Doesn't make that whole much of a difference, but you know, it's up to you. Just gonna give these about 10 minutes. Should be nice and pliable after that. All right, all those chilies going in. This is probably gonna be way too much of a puree for only two pounds of meat, but it's all good. I'll just use what I can. I know a lot of people like to use this liquid right here. I'm using some beef broth because this is kind of bitter. Just put a little bit for now. Just start off with a little bit. All right, get yourself a good sized pot. Get some high heat, a little bit of vegetable oil in the bottom of the pot. That's the color you're looking for right there. pork chorizo, I'm doing about half of this nine ounce thing of chorizo. Now I'm gonna put those onions and jalapenos in there. The moisture from the veggies is gonna to start to deglaze the bottom of the pan, so all that stuff is gonna come off the bottom. We're also gonna put that chili puree and some uh, beef stock in there too, so. 
About a couple tablespoons of some tomato paste. Salt and pepper. Mexican oregano. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of beef stock because I don't want it too liquidy. Because when I'm making the quesadillas, I want it to be kind of thick. Make sure you just clean, clean the bottom of the pan with the uh, wooden spoon or tongs or whatever. Just get all that stuff off the bottom. Throw the beef back in with all the juices and everything. A little more salt. You got that chili puree. All right, so you can see there's not that much liquid in there. I'm gonna leave it how it is. If it gets too dried out, I'll put a little more beef stock in there, but it should be good. All right, so I'm gonna let that go for a few hours. I'm just gonna throw a lid on it, and I'll check back. All right guys, change of plans real quick. This has only been on here like a couple minutes. I got three bay leaves I'm gonna throw in there for a little extra flavor. Fish those out later. Also, got the oven at 350 degrees. And I'll check back on this in a little bit. This has been going about three hours at 350 degrees. I checked the meat, it's nice and tender. To finish this off with a handful of cilantro. Got my blackstone griddle going. Let's make a quesadilla. Alright guys, here's the situation. We're gonna make this quesadilla. It's gonna go pretty quick. Got this chili sitting here on the on the flat top. Staying warm, actually staying pretty hot. Got this big ass raw flour tortilla from the taco shop down the street. I'm just gonna throw this on here, get it heated up, throw the cheese on, throw the chili on, and that's gonna be it. It's gonna go really quick. How could you go wrong with beef, cheese, and chili? Bro. If you're gonna remake this, do not forget to put the chorizo in there because you can really taste it. It's freaking amazing. Super messy. I know there's a lot of people out there that this is gonna be way too spicy for them. So, you know, you gotta modify it to the way you like it. 
This is definitely not no soccer mom chili. It's just a red chili the way I always do it. I mean, you could put tomatoes or beans in there, however you want to do it. If you want to bastardize this chili, but this is the way I like it, guys. Now, I'll be sure to leave all the ingredients down below, the exact ingredients. Um, everything's approximate. You gotta kind of just feel it out. Even if you don't make a quesadilla, make that chili. Put it on some rice or some chips, fry some chips up or something like that. I'm telling you, it's gonna be good. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you hung in through the whole video, I really appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys. Thank you.